Okay, so we're going to look at a couple of questions now where uh, you're going to be solving a trig expression, okay, but with a range. So you're going to solve the expression and then uh, give all the answers that exist within a certain range. So for this question, there's the expression I'm going to solve, okay, and the range is between 0 and 2 pi. Okay. And for a lot of people, they prefer to work in degrees. So if you prefer to work in degrees, just because they give you the range in radians doesn't mean that you have to answer it in radians if you don't like. Okay, so this is between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. So and I prefer to work in degrees if I can, so that's the way I will work. So now let's solve our trig expression. <clears throat> and I'm going to take the 1 to the other side, so plus 1, plus 1, and so I have 2 sine theta. 1, divide both sides by 2, and I end up with sine theta equals 1 over 2. So these cancel out. So there I am. Those cancel out. Sine theta equals a positive 1 over 2. Okay. So right away, I look at my special triangles, and I know that the angle that when I take the sine, it gives me 1 over 2 is 30 degrees. So I'm just going to write that small above there. Okay. And now I'm going to take into account the sine. Sine of it is positive, so using my cast rule, and I'm just going to pan over to the board over here. And you can see there are all my special triangles, some other math in there as well. So, what I have is a special triangles 30, 60, 45. My cast rule. And so the sine theta, the, the angle when I take the sine of it gives me 1 over 2 is 30 degrees. Sine is positive, of course, in the first quadrant where everything is positive, and the second quadrant. So I'm looking at 30 degrees into this quadrant. 30 degrees into this quadrant, of course, is just 30. 30 degrees into this quadrant, the second quadrant, is 180 minus 30, or in other words, 150. Okay, so my two answers then are 30 and 150. So let's go back to the board here. So then I say one answer is theta equals 30 degrees, and the other answer is 150 degrees. Now I put on plus 360K, because it can be 30 degrees or any coterminal angle with 30 degrees, which is the 360, plus 360K. Of course, where k can be any integer. Okay. And then the same with 150. It can be 150 or any coterminal angle with that 150. Now, this would be the solution we'd be done right here if it just asked for all possible solutions. Okay. But ours didn't. It said it wants all the possible angles when we're between 0 and 360. Okay. So I look at my first solution. And I start assigning values to my k. And the easiest one is k being 0. So what do I get when k is 0? Okay, in other words, I haven't done any rotations or any coterminal angles with 30. And that means I'm just at 30 degrees. If I subbed in k being 1, I would have 1 times 360, which is 360, plus my 30 degrees. Okay, so another, I'd be at 390 degrees. And now I can see right away, that's outside of my range from 0 to 360. Okay, so that solution's no good to me. Okay, the other thing you can check, okay, let's check k equaling negative 1. Okay, so that's going backwards 360 from my original 30 degree answer. Okay, so negative 360, so I'm getting negative 1 for k gives me negative 360 plus 30, so I'm at negative 330 degrees. And that's definitely outside my range from 0 to 360. So that's the answer that's no good. So from this solution, I get one possible answer for theta. Let's do for 150 degrees. So looking at 150, k is 0. I end up with 0 times 360 which is 0, which is, and then I get 150 degrees. Okay, 
that answer does fall within my range. I have a gain, we should check k equals negative 1, k equals 1, and see what we get. Now, some people will start to realize very quickly that okay, that's going to fall outside the range, and that's going to fall outside the range, and you don't have to do it. If you realize without doing the math that it's going to fall outside the range, then don't bother. Okay, this is going to give me, uh, let's see, negative 210. Definitely outside the range. 360 plus 150, uh, 510. And so I'm outside the range here, so of course those answers are outside the range, so they don't count. Because again, I'm only looking for the angles between 0 and 360 and that would solve this equation. So now, <clears throat> there are my answers. I erased them on the previous time doing this, but and there they are. Answers are theta is equal to 30 degrees and 150 degrees. So I get two answers for that. Okay. So my next example, I'm going to look at a little bigger range. We'll look at a range going from 0 to 720. So let's go to that next example. So it says solve for all possible values of theta in the range of 0 to 4 pi. And 0, 0, of course, 4 pi is 720. This time it tells me that my answer must be in radians. Now, again, I like to work in degrees if I can. It does not say in here that my work all the way down through has to be in radians. So I can work in degrees on my way down through and change it in radians. And again, that's a preference of mine. If you are fine working with radians, that's, that's great work in radians all the way through. But most people are just more comfortable in degrees. So, rearranging the equation, of course I'm going to go minus root 3, minus root 3, end up with 2, cos theta equals negative root 3, divide both sides by 2, this cancels out, and I end up with cos theta equals negative root 3 over 2. So again, I check my special angles and say what angle when I take the cos of it, gives me root 3 over 2. 30 degrees. Okay, so I'm just going to write that above it. Okay. So then looking at my cast rule, the ratio is negative, so I want the two quadrants where cos is negative. Okay, well, that would be the second and the third. Okay. So 30 degrees away from 180 into the second quadrant would be 150 degrees. So one of my answers is theta equals 150 degrees. And then of course, plus 360k, where k can be any integer. And my other answer is 30 degrees into this quadrant. So 30 away from 180 down into this quadrant is going to give me 210. And then of course, plus my 360k k is any integer. If I would ask and only ask for just all possible values without any range, I would be nearly done. I would just be converting these into radians, and that would be it. But I've been given the range from 0 to 720. So I'm going to take this one and see what I get when I use different k values. So I start with k being 0, and see what I get for theta. If it's 0, I get 150. If I went negative 1, okay, this would, it's fairly obvious I would get a negative answer, and negative answers don't fall within my range. So I go up 1, so k equals 1. And so I'm doing a coterminal angle with 150. And right here, taking one of your answers here, which is 150 degrees, and there's one answer, and you've just gone around the circle key, in other words, you've added another 360 degrees to arrive back at the same point. Okay, so 360 plus 150 is going to give you 510 degrees. So there's a second answer. Both of those are within the range. So k equals 2, add another 360. 2 times 360, 720. 720 plus 150 is going to give me 870. And that one's not within my range from 0 to 720. Straight that one out. Now we look at this answer. 
and we'll look at the different values of k here, starting with k equals 0. And k is 0, I end up with 210, definitely within the range. And k is equal to 1, I end up with 570, okay, also definitely within the range. If I go to k equals 2, okay, that's going to give me 720 plus 210, or in other words, 930 degrees outside the range, so we don't do that. So, so now I'm going to list all my answers. I have four. So my answers are beta can equal 150, 510, 210, and 507. So there are all your answers. Now a lot of people would stop there and they, they're almost correct except for it says that the answers must be in radians. So I'm going to have to take my answers that are in degrees right now and convert them into radians. So we're just going to convert each one into radians. Now these are all multiples of 30. 30 being pi over 6. So there's 30. So I have to think about how many 30s is there in 150? Well, there's 5. So then this one is 5 pi over 6. It's 5 pi over 6. 510. Okay, so I have to stop and say, well, how many 30s is 510? Well, that's 17. So we end up with 17 pi over 6. 17 pi over 60 or 1730s. Next up is 210. Okay, well, that's 7 30, so I end up with 7 pi over 6. It's 4, 7 pi over 6. And then finally, 19 pi over 6 for 5, 7. And there's your final answer. So those are all your final solutions. And on the test, your assignment.